So we've now talked about um, three things. We've talked about voltage, we've talked about current, and we've talked about resistance. Now it turns out that all three of these variables are linked very nicely together in a formula that you're going to have to be very familiar with. And that formula um, is called Ohm's Law. So Ohm's Law states that the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. V equals IR. Now this uh, formula only works for um, a constant temperature. Temperature um, does tend to change the resistance in a circuit, so you, you won't have that relationship otherwise. Um, and we can see that from the formula, the, the voltage is directly proportional to the current if we have a constant resistance. Um, by adding a, a battery to the circuit with a, a larger voltage, say going from like a 3 volt battery to a 12 volt battery, for the same resistance in that circuit you'll have a higher current. Um, likewise, if we have a constant voltage um, and we decrease the resistance, so we have a voltage remains constant and we reduce the resistance in the circuit, then that is going to mean that we're going to need to increase the current. So a lower resistance in a series circuit will increase the current, make it easier for the, the current to have flown away. If you think about resistance as impeding the current, well, having less resistance is going to impede the current less, and it's going to increase the uh, rate at which electrons flow through the circuit, so the number of charges passing a point per second. So you have to be very familiar with how to use that formula, and you will use it extensively um, when dealing with parallel series circuits.